What is up guys? Welcome back to a new episode from Backyard Boys. If you guys saw my previous episode, you guys saw that this quota panel is fully welded on. And in this episode, we're going to seam seal it and bond to it. That way it's all flush and ready for primer. If you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys like my videos, don't forget to smash that like button and let's get this project going. All righty guys. So first things first, I wanna show you guys some of the tools and some of the materials that I use to get this job done and get it done right. So first things first, here's my bare metal seam sealer. Before that, I like to use my belt file and my grinder to knock down the welds to make them as flush as I can. After that, we're gonna continue to our Bondo filler and our finishing glaze. These are 3M products, I love them. Also, we have our sandpaper here. We got our 80 grit, 150 and 180. We got a six inch DA. Right here, we got our respirator mask because obviously you guys do not wanna be inhaling all that stuff. We got our blocks to get a perfect finish and we got our brushes and our tips for the seam seal gun. Let's get right into it. All right guys, with that being said, the first thing we're gonna do is take the front door off, the trunk, the tail light, and the rear bumper to make it easy for us to seam seal and mud where we need to mud. Also, we're gonna put blankets here, cover the interior up to minimize the dust that gets inside. So let's do that now. All right guys, as you guys can see, we have gotten everything off. We gotten the blankets in there. That way dust does not get inside the car and now we are ready to start grinding off all the welds and start mudding. Let's go. As you guys see there, we are all done grinding down all the welds, all the spot welds and everything It is looking perfect. It's ready for seam sealer, but before seam sealer, we must mud these three transitions. I like to use an 80 grit sandpaper or a DA to knock down the materials on both of these. That way the mud sticks on solid. Let's do it. As you guys can see, we have prepped one area and another area for mud. We're gonna mud these right here and while we wait for this mud to dry, we're gonna bust out that one. All right guys, so we got our three spots mudded. One, two, and three. We got this huge vacuum system. That way there won't be dust all over the shop. Let's get to sanding. All right guys, so 
we've gotten the first layer of mud on and it feels pretty darn good all around over here and down here um, still needs a little bit of work but I think I can get that all dialed out with glaze so we're gonna put some glaze on it right now and get this thing perfect Alrighty guys, little progress update. We have been busting out on this project. Take a look at this. We are done with all the mudding except for a little final touches. I added a little bit of here, a little bit on this body line, and some over here. I did not like the transfer from the bare metal to the mud. Also added some mud right over here. That way we get a flat, flat finish like this side over here. We're gonna start seam sealing, but before that, I'm gonna try a couple techniques to get this same texture right over here. So, let's go try a couple techniques. Alright guys, first technique I'm going to try is, this is the tip from the seam seal gun. It looks like that. I'm going to try cut it off right over here, and then heat this up and flatten it out. That way I get a flat finish, kind of like a rigid one. Let's try it out. This is the result we have so far. Right now I'm gonna let this dry off and I'm gonna sand this down. That way I have a little, little crack over here and we'll see if this works. All right guys, so I didn't get it perfect, but it looks pretty decent right now. We're going to tape off where we don't need to get the seam seal. That way the seam seal is actually like nice and clean and aligned. And we're gonna start seam sealing, let's do it. Alrighty guys, well that is a wrap for this video. We got the quota panel on the car. It is fully mudded out and it's looking perfect. We do still need primer, but we're gonna prime it after we get the front end dialed out. If you guys are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you guys like my videos, don't forget to like. And if you guys want insights of any of my builds, follow my Instagram, which is gonna be right over here. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.